Can You Believe, the former Brit school graduate, was later dropped by her record label. Not just dropped, which can happen, but over a text message. So rude. Yeah. Fortunately, <laughs> she's now getting her own back. She's proving them all wrong by crowdfunding her latest album and starring in the hit Netflix wrestling comedy, Glow. We were taught to wrestle by Chavo Guerrero. I mean, we are taught to wrestle. They've done each season. We do a month of training before... It's does it hurt? Fantastic. Sorry, I know Go you're on. the biggest fan. No, no, I love it. Uh, does it hurt? It, it's, it's kind of hard to, to describe. It's, it doesn't um, not hurt, but it's, <laughs> it's trying to figure out how to make it hurt in the right way. Oh, yeah! Wow, <laughs> that's complex. <laughs> it's, for us being on the show, it really does feel like female empowerment mm. because a, we're learning how to wrestle, which has just been quite life changing. I think for most of the women on the show. Why? Um, it's so empowering to use your body in a way that you never have before. Mm. Um, Kia is the only uh, actual wrestler on the show, so she's definitely been having that experience for a long time. But we've learned so much from her and Chavo about taking up space. And you're kind of taught the opposite to what you're usually taught as a woman. Mm. Chavo's literally told us, like, everything you've been taught before, scrap it. And, like, this is... You're going to fill this space and wow. do all of the opposite things you've and been taught. And also to be appreciated for not just looking pretty. Oh, my God. Not having a tiny waist and looking beautiful, yes. as all women are expected to be, exactly. you know, in and truth. all the women are diverse on the show. And, you, you know, it's so normal, I think, to concentrate on how you look as a woman because we're just mm. kind of bred to feel that way. I think there's definitely a few people on my list that are some kind of picture. <laughs> nice. Have someone in a headlock. I think that, you know, the world is changing and my mm. career started on the internet mm. and I just want to encourage, like, all women to empower themselves however they can mm. in this new, like, tech age, really, because you can't rely on... Re labels and you can't rely on the radio and everybody has ups and downs in their career. And are you cr you're crowdfunding your next album? I did. I crowdfunded yes. last year. We I raised 155,000. And, and that's wow. from Kate Nash fans. Yeah. Who want to hear more from you musically. Yeah. It, it was really nerve-wracking to do, but it definitely, in, like, it gave me the confidence to go, like, there's still people that want to hear my music and I've just went on tour. I did a US tour with my new record yesterday was yeah. forever just came out so wow. and there's, a, there's a sort of yeah. comparison being made i've heard people say that the music industry is going industry is going to have its me too moment right. you know it's happened yeah. in t you know in film i've heard and, that too. and you're in so you've got a, a, a foot in both camps really you've yeah. experienced sort of i suppose hollywood in a sense and, yeah and the music industry do you feel that in your experience that that's coming um i i think it should in every industry i think it's so um normal for women to experience this and i think what we're trying to expose um, what all women are trying to say, I think, mm. is like, this happens to all of us. Like I, you know, most of my friends, I have experienced sexual assault. Like I think it's- Have you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's so normal. I've, I've experienced it in my personal life, at gigs, like I-, I, I Unwanted touching and- Yeah, yeah. like I, I don't really know many women that haven't experienced it, to be honest. And, and um, I, haven't, I haven't got anybody that I'm like, going to out in the music industry. It hasn't happened to me in that way. I'm lucky that that hasn't happened mm. to me. But I've, I think that's lucky that it hasn't happened to me in that sense. And I've definitely just felt, um, you know, like I get, I've been treated wrong in the, mm. I look back at, I don't know how I would now treat an 18 year old, 19 year old, 20 year old that's coming up in the music industry and how I like to try and make myself available for younger artists. I don't think there was anybody doing that for me. Mm. And there was a lot of men around. Interesting. And they all made money off me. We have a young girl who's 13 years old called Courtney Hadwin, who's just become a huge sensation. America's Got Talent. She's wow. British. She's, she's, we're speaking to her later on in the show. Cool. What would you say to someone like her about the way forward? Um, I think it's realising you're your own... I mean, it's so hard because she's so young, mm. 13, mm. but I, I, having some something grounded around you, like family and friends, is, is something I was lucky to have and knowing your own power and knowing that you can say no to things as well. Mm. Because mm. I think a lot of the time the pressure is on to be like, you have to say yes to everything because every opportunity is like the last opportunity you're going to get. And it's just too much pressure. And I think, you know, mm. having time off and taking yeah. care of yourself and your health is really important. And inappropriate behaviour is not normal. Yeah, Don't and accept well, it. what's so yeah. great is okay. like young people are growing up seeing that in the media now yes. and learning that they can say this is wrong. Which is amazing. And we can see you performing Great. at um, festivals, can't we? Yeah, Reading and Leeds, I'm going to be. Well, what a joy to have so you in. I, and Glow 2 is yeah. out on June, Netflix. June 29th, it comes Can't out. Wait. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks what a joy for having to me. Have you in.